Hi guys, I'm Darren, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to update the internal multi protocol module. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is actually power on the radio and see if we need to update the module at all anyway. So, all right, let's get my little stand. I really should just set fail safe <laughs> just to stop that coming up. But anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to pop into the model menu. And then what we want to do is scroll up until you get to uh, the internal RF setting. So you can actually see that it's got multi protocol module update recommended, which is nice and helpful. So if you update your OpenTX, I guess it has the latest version built in. So we can see on here the version 1.3.0.91. So what you would do is if you haven't got this flashing, you'd go to the website and check that version number and just make sure that everything is OK. But we can see here we do need to do an update. So that's what we're going to do now. Right. So we're here at the multimodule.org website. So it's downloads.multimodule.org. I'll put a link in the video description. And now what we need to do is just sort out our module. So what we're going to do is go in here and we're going to go to Radio Master TX16S internal module. So we'll click that. We want to select the latest stable release. So you can see we're on 1.3.0.91, I believe. So there's quite a few versions gone. So we, yeah, I'd recommend just choosing the latest stable release. Uh, module type. I'm going to leave it as STM32, four in one. Radio type, we want OpenTX. Uh, channel order. AETR, that's what we're using. And we don't need to worry about pre-release or anything like that. We're just going to use that. So now what we need to do is just download this bin file right here. So let's save link as, and we'll stick it on the desktop. So that's it downloaded. So what we're now going to do is plug in the USB on our transmitter. So USB-C in the top. All right, the other end in the computer, obviously. And then we're going to choose USB. Come on, jog wheel. There we go. So we've got our file. So what we want to do is bring up our transmitter and we want this. So we're going to go to the firmware folder. And then what we're going to do is just drag that bin file in here. So you can see here we've got some old versions. So that's what I'm going to do is delete these. So that's that gone. And now what we need to do is go back to the transmitter and the rest of it is done on there. So the first thing to do is unplug from the computer. I'm going to unplug here as well. Not that should really be a problem. And what we're going to do is go back to our main page and then we'll hold down the system button. And what we need to do is go to our SD card. We put it in the firmware folder. And what we're going to do is go down to our firmware we've just downloaded, hold down the button and flash internal multi. So once you click that, just let it go. Obviously I should point out you want to make sure that you've got enough battery that it's not going to crash during this process it shouldn't brick it but um, it's better just to be safe and sorry so make sure that your batteries have got a fair bit of charge in them when you do this process as you can see it's going through fairly quickly so it's not really going to be an issue but just to yeah make people aware don't do it when your batteries are just going to die so that is it done so successful press enter so we just go backwards out of here if we go back into the model menu go up because it's quicker you can now see we're on version 1.3.2.61 so that's it job done hope you guys found this video useful if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up 
like subscribe bell icon all that sort of stuff to help get this out to more people so they can learn how to update their modules too thank you guys for watching see you on the next one fly models like you stole them <laughs>